Hey everyone, this recording today includes a sock on the mic. We'll see if that improves my video. So today I'm going to talk about humus form classification, um, elaborating on what we learned a couple weeks ago. Recall that I talked about how there's three different humus form orders, the more, the motor, and the mull, and that the mull tends to have an AH diagnostic horizon, the more an H and, de and definitely a matted F horizon with a clear abrupt boundary between the LFH and the mineral soil. Motor, it's sort of a mix of the two. I also talked about the five soil forming factors, including organisms and how organisms play a very big role in creating these humus forms. In a grassland environment, now that you know what the C to N ratio is, tends to have a fairly good CN ratio that's conducive to microbial activity, similarly in a deciduous stand. However, in a coniferous stand, you have a very high CN ratio. Lots of coniferous needles are not so desirable for bacterial um, activity or microbial activity. So the fungi are the primary decomposers. Fungi are much slower, whereas the type of the, the speed of decomposition is much faster in these two environments. Add to that now the humus form orders that result from this type of activity. So the mull will be in the grasslands, tend to find motors and deciduous stands, perhaps sometimes a mull, a more is characteristic of coniferous stands. Here's a way to remember all this, a more because there's more of it, Motor, it's been motored over and partially broken down. It's very crumbly, generally, a motor. And a mull, it's been totally mulled over. Remember, the F and the H horizon are very thin in a mull. tend to have this nice, thick AH horizon. And within each one of these orders, there are diagnostic horizons. For instance, FM horizon is quite diagnostic of a more, an FZ or FA horizon, diagnostic of a motor, and again, the AH is diagnostic for the mull. Now we're going to dig even deeper this week in lab. You're going to be given a sample of a mower, a motor, and a mull, and you're going to have to classify these orders into their groups. So within a mower, there are a number of different mower types, groups, similar with the motor and the mull. For example, the mower order, relative thickness of the F and H horizon, will differentiate the hemi and the human mower. Degree of humification of the H horizon, differentiate the reservoir and the lignomor, and the moisture regime will have an effect on the more um, humus form and differentiate them based on hydromore, mesomore, and fibromore. These are some of the um, type of characteristic horizons of each one of these, each one of these groups. An FM mycogenous activity, so soil um, fungi tend to have an aggregated matted structure and then the FZ and FA are indicative of um, soil mesofauna, mesofauna activity, etc. Please note that in wetland environments, so organic soils, they will also have humus forms and these are separated as such. And the age horizon is the mineral horizon, and it has been enriched with organic matter, and this is part of the humus form classification. There are several different keys that you're going to use in lab. Here's an example of a key. It's several slides here. So we've got the mowers, the motors, the mulls, and then variations on those as well. So the key just walks you through each one of these during your assessment. Here's a key that a student created in 2010. Really nice key. It's got two slides related to it. And you will also be given this handout. It's a four page handout from 1997 from a prominent um, soil and forest ecologist. It gives a lot of nice detailed description about all the different horizons.